हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर ताहिर रिजा आई एम असिस्टेंट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एट स्मृति कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मोशिकल एजुकेशन इंदौर इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ऑफ गैस कीमोटोग्राफी इन दैट वी आर डिस्कस दैट व्हाट आर द वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ऑफ गैस कीमोटोग्राफी द मेजर कंपोनेंट्स आर सिलेंडर कॉलम डिटेक्टर एंड रिकॉर्डर इन कॉलम वी हैव स्टडीड दैट देयर आर थ्री शेप्स ऑफ कॉलम some columns are straight in shape some are u shaped and some are uh, uh, coiled in shape the shape uh, the choice of shape depend upon the utility and the length of column and the type of analysis which have to be performed we have discussed that what are the various type of gases which are used as mobile phase in gas photography we have seen that argon helium nitrogen hydrogen carbon dioxide and air mixture is generally used as a liquid phase a mobile phase in gas photography and we also discussed in last lecture about the types of detectors there are many types of detectors which are used in gas photography now in this lecture we are we will discuss about application of gas photography what are the various application of gas photography students gas photography since it is very sensitive and highly accurate method it is very widely used in analysis of various organic and inorganic materials in pharmaceutical industry other than pharmaceuticals it find its wide application in identification of levels of pesticide insecticides and also to determine the air quality it is also applicable in uh, industry like for <coughs> pharmacological analysis of drug identification of drug in blood and urine so uh, the main advantage of gas photography is the sensitivity and accuracy of this method this is the reason why gas photography is nowadays very widely used in pharmaceutical industries and i want to add that gas photography is now coupled with mass spectroscopy and this combination of gas photography with mass spectroscopy is known as gc mass technique that we will discuss after some time now let us discuss the various application in detail what are the application of gas photography number one it is used in forensic analysis of toxic and poisonous substance as you know there are various cases in forensic sciences in which the amount of drug has to be identified in to blood since the quantity of that substances are very very less in micro and nanogram they will they, they they must be identified with a suitable technique which have very high sensitivity so in case of bioanalysis of these substances this toxins and poisonous substance in human body we have to find the method which can detect the drugs in very very minute quantity for this forensic analysis gas spectroscopy is very preferential and very suitable technique next it is used in separation as well as identification of mixtures of pesticides now pesticides are used in farming and other uh, processes for to remove pest now the major pesticides are paraffin melaphan ethanol so these uh, pesticides are uh, sometimes enter into the particles food substances and they can harm a human body also for that we have to identify the concentration and their levels in the food products next application is separation and identification of mixtures of pesticides in agriculture the pesticides are used to control pest and the amount of pesticides must be checked in food and the products which are obtained from agriculture sources so in that case the, there is a there should be a method which can determine the concentration of in a, a pesticides in very minute to minute quantity so for example uh, pesticides like paraffin melaphan ethanol these are the pesticides which are very harmful for human if they enter into the food and supplements which are obtained from agriculture so so there must be a method which determine which can determine the presence of uh, these pesticides in very minute to minute quantity so gas photography is very suitable technique for analysis and separation of these pesticides in in uh, agriculture applications another application of uh, gas photography is quantification of pollutants in drinking water and water waste management the water which we come from uh, municipal corporation is had been treated with various process by municipal corporation and before their treatment the, these samples of water uh, must be identified for the presence of types of impurities as well as their concentration after the 
determination of the types of impurities and concentration, they go for the suitable procedure for removal of that impurities and uh, purification of water. So, uh, for that uh, a method, uh, there, there, is, there should be a method which is very sensitive and very minutely identify the presence of substances and impurities in water. Similarly, we have studied that sewage water treatment and sewage water treatment, the pollutants and the substance must be analyzed before their treatment and after the analysis of uh, these types and uh, after the analysis of these uh, uh, pollutants, the treatment procedure is selected. So, uh, quantification of pollutants in drinking water and water waste management is the very important application of gas chromatography. The, the process of uh, the, the application of gas chromatography in analysis of pollutants in drinking water and pesticides is the reason behind the applications that it is very sensitive and accurate method. Another application is quantification of drug metabolites in blood green for both pharmacological and forensic applications. Now, in case of bioanalysis, we have to determine the concentration of drug in human compartment, blood, plasma, urine, etc. For that case, uh, there should be a method which can determine manually the quantity of uh, drug into human plasma. This finds application in forensic uh, purpose as well. Because in forensic sciences, the toxins and poisons which are present in human body, which are consumed by human body, must be identified by micro to micro nano levels. For that, yes, what drug is a suitable and best technique. Another application is identification of unknown organic compounds in hazardous waste. Industry, uh, in pharmaceutical industry and chemical industries, there are various types of waste which come out from industries and they have to be treated before the disposable. disposable. For the treatment of their disposal, 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 the there should be method which identify the which type of impurities is present in the sample. After finding the types of impurity and the quantity and the uh, amount of pollutants uh, impurities present in that organic samples, the suitable technique is determined. Another application of gas chromatography is the determination of reaction products. When <coughs> reaction are com is completed, the products are formed. To identify the products, uh, desired product is formed or not, we apply methods like TLC, HPLC, RPHPLC, etc. Now, more sensitive method is gas chromatography that determine the types of reaction products which obtain after the reaction and the amount is also quantified. Analysis of industrial products for quality control. This is another important application of gas chromatography in pharmaceutical industries. The products which are obtained will be due to uh, after complete com synthesis of products or semi finished products are identified for the quality control. For this, in industry, gas chromatography is widely used because of its accuracy. Another application is separation of volatile mixtures and air quality measurement. We know that in our air atmosphere there are very various pollutants and these pollutants decrease the quality of air. So to determine the air quality index, amount of uh, pollutants and their types must be identified. For that purpose, gas chromatography technique is the suitable technique for determination of air quality index because it uh, identifies very very minute nano to nano quantity of pollutants present in air mixture. Similarly, in separation and identification of volatile mixtures is not very easy with TLC and HPLC technique. For that case, HPLC, uh, for that case the gas photography technique is very, very much utilized in industries. Another application is analysis of trace, trace analysis of organic and inorganic compounds. See, here the word trace is used because in organic and inorganic compounds, minute to minute quantity of uh, uh, substances, impurities must be identified with suitable process. So gas filter finds this application because it is very sensitive method. So for minute to minute identification, analysis of organic and inorganic compounds in various chemical industries, the gas motor is used. Another application is analysis of isomers. See, isomers are very identical to each other. For their separation and identification, quantification, there must be a technique which is very sensitive. Although it can be done by other pre previous technique like HPLC, etc., a gas photography is nowadays used for identification of various isomers and the type of method depends upon the nature and type of isomers. Last application is identification of blood alcohol level. See, in blood plasma, as I have discussed in bioanalysis, 
the quantification the quantification of pesticide the quantification of uh, poisons can be done similarly in blood plasma quantification of alcohol can be done so for that gas chromatography is preferred because it is one of the uh, most used method and sensitive technique used in pharmaceutical in industries so the gas chromatography finds its application in various fields like pharmaceuticals organic chemistry inorganic chemistry synthetic chemistry insecticides pesticide food industry pol air pollution water uh, water level as well as waste water treatment uh, solid waste disposal treatment in quality control in isomer chemistry of isomers and determination of uh, substances in uh, biological fluid like blood and urine so in this lecture we discuss about the various application of gas chromatography these all application is uh, very widely used in industry that because the gas chromatography is very sensitive and accurate technique thank you very much